A host of air shows will take place over the weekend with alterations to their schedules following the Shoreham plane crash, but an event in County Durham has been postponed. The Civil Aviation Authority car, banned vintage jets from carrying out high-energy aerobatics over land after a plane plummeted onto the A-27. Clacton Air Show, which takes place over the sea, takes place in Essex later. A tribute to the victims will be broadcast before the flying display. An event at Durham Tees Valley Airport has been postponed until May. Chris Betty, from organizers Sky Live Events, said the tragedy at Shoreham has forced us to consider very carefully whether it would be right to go ahead. This is not a decision we have taken lightly because we appreciate that thousands of people were looking forward to having a great day out this Saturday. Police believe it is likely 11 people were killed when the 1950s Hawker Hunter plummeted to the ground, crashing into traffic and exploding. Pilot Andy Hill failed to complete a loop maneuver immediately before the crash. Five victims have been named by friends or family and the relatives of two other missing men have appealed for help. The latest victim identified was Mark Reeves, a motorcyclist, golfer and photographer. Mr Reeves, 53, who lived in Seaford and worked in London, had parked his motorcycle to take photos of the air show. His family said he was a gentle, loving, incredibly giving family man. He leaves a wife Wendy, son Luke, sister Denise parents Anne and Kenneth and three granddaughters. Formal identification of the victims has begun following the recovery of almost all of the remains. West Sussex coroner Benny Schofield said, recovering all the remains has been a very slow and painstaking operation, but it has been necessary to ensure we establish, without doubt, individual positive identifications. She has met the families to explain the process and, once identification is complete, Inquests will be opened into the deaths. On Wednesday, Brighton and Hove NHS Foundation Trust said pilot Mr Hill remained in a critical but stable condition. He has been transferred to an unnamed specialist hospital. The trust said, the wreckage of the aeroplane has been taken to the Air Accidents Investigation Branch in Farnborough, Hampshire, with an interim report due to be published in the next few days. Highways England said it was unable to estimate when the A27 would reopen. A spokesman for the agency said, We are working closely with the police and the air accidents investigation branch and once we are given access to the road, we will assess its condition and carry out all required maintenance work. As we are currently unaware of the nature or full extent of the work that is required, we're unable to provide an estimate on how long this is likely to take. Backslash. The crash prompted new restrictions to be put in place by the car regulator, which led to the Car Fest South event in Hampshire cancelling its air display program. Other shows are taking place, some with restrictions. Clacton Air Show, which takes place entirely over sea, has no changes to the schedule. At Wings and Wheels in Dunsfold, Surrey. Two planes will be restricted to only performing flypasts. Organisers of Dartmouth Royal Regatta in Devon have mended a strike mast to jets routine. Little Granston Air and Car Show in Cambridgeshire has replaced a Hawker Hunter with a Yak 11 and a display will go ahead. A spokesman for Dartmouth Royal Regatta said, The pilot is going to slow everything down and not do any acrobatics. We're very happy to comply with any restrictions the Civil Aviation Authority put in after the horrific accident. Until we find out more I think verging on the side of caution is very fair. At the Shoreham crash scene, police operations to remove debris and vehicles and carry out forensic examinations will continue for some weeks. Police said. Sussex Chief Constable Giles York said all the people thought to be affected were local. The force had said more than 200 people had reported concerns for missing relatives or friends. Matt Jones, 24, a personal trainer, was named by his sister Becky on Facebook as one of the dead. Worthing United players Jacob Silt, 23, and Matthew Grimstone, also 23, are thought to have been travelling in the same car when the crash happened. The fourth victim was former Hampshire police officer Morris Abrahams, 76, who was driving a Daimler limousine to a wedding at the time of the crash. Dan L. Polito and Mark Trussler were named as two of those missing by relatives. Mr. Polito's family and friends said on social media he was in the same car as Mr. Jones. Mr. Trussler, 
is thought to have been riding his motorbike at the time and his fiancée, Giovanna Chirico, also appealed on social media to anyone who has seen or heard from him.